hey guys welcome back to my channel this is hd signatures to start with i'm doing a brows and um, i'm going to be using two different shades of brow gel it's uh, carrot brow gel so i'm mixing it with a little bit of the dark shade which is the black one i'm mixing it with the brown just to outline our brows she already have a uh, full brow so there's no need to go overboard with it so what i'm just going to be doing is just to carve the top and the bottom side of our brows with my diy and good brush very thin and if you guys want to see how i did that please let me know and also i have a video on a tutorial on an angle brush a diy angle brush on how to make it very thin and flat so it's somewhere on my channel please check it out guys so basically what i'm doing is just to fill in where she have a sparse hair and just make sure everything looks neat Then afterwards i'm just going to go ahead and knitting it out with um, a concealer so i'm using a brush and this brush is from morphe i'm just using it to blend out the concealer on our lid to make sure everything looks seamless so afterwards i'm going to be using a brow gel which is um, a clear brow gel to create like um a scanty hair kind of you know i want So I'm going over to our lips to use uh, the concealer and I'm also using a random brush. It's like a domed blending brush. I'm using that to apply the concealer. Then afterwards, I'm going to be going into a powder. I'm using the powder as my first transition color. The excess of this is just to help me blend whatever colors I'm going to be using afterwards seamlessly. I don't want to go with that very strong color so I, I always like to go with a powder first because it helps me to create that barriers between the brows and um, the colors I'm going to be using on the lid. So afterwards I'm going to be going into a yellow eyeshadow and this color is from this eyeshadow is from Morphe and it's um, 35B. So I'm using um, an e.l.f. brush, it's a blending brush from e.l.f. I'm using that to pack on the yellow eyeshadow onto a lid. And if you guys can see, sorry, onto a crease. I'm trying to take it a little bit higher than usual. It won't really affect how the eyes will come out because already I've applied the powder there. So the powder will help me to soften the edges. So that's why I'm taking it higher so all the shades i'm going to be using here mostly is going to be coming from that same palette which is the morphe 35b i'm just going to be going back into the um same palette and I'm going to be using an Echo 2 brush to pick up a little bit of yellow just to blend in the edges with the ones I applied at the outer corner stroke the crease area together. So I'm still going back into that same e.l.f. brush and I'll be interchanging from the e.l.f. brush to the Echo 2 brush just to make sure that I blend out everything seamlessly. So afterwards I'm going to be going into a concealer. And I'm using that concealer, the same one that I use in cutting, sorry, that I use as a primer on a lid. I'm going to be using that too, as well, sorry, to cut out a crease. And I'm using a very stiff flat head brush. It's a synthetic brush. It's from, I think, Morphe. I'll list down all the products that I'm, that I'm using in this video, in this tutorial down in the description box, guys. So in case there's anyone that I didn't remember to mention or that I'm not quite sure of what the name is, I will try to make sure that I list, list them down. So I'm just going to be going over to a crease to cut it out carefully. And if you guys can see, I'm, I'm cutting a crease exactly where a crease is. You know, normally if you have like a hooded lid and maybe like a, your lid is a bit higher and it's not showing because of the fold on your lid, you might want to cut above where you're seeing the crease. But for her, a crease is where it is. So I'm just cut, cutting it where it's 
is and i will be going back into the eyeshadow to the one that at the outer corners of her eye i'm going to be going back to apply that on her lid So afterwards guys I'll be going into the part that I cut and I'm using um, a chunk of glitters and this glitters is from Luster Cosmetics it's a Nigerian brand and I'm using uh, and I'm using just a random liquid glitter liner you know for some people they prefer to use like the regular glitter glue that comes with that you have to buy separately but for me I like to use a liquid glitter liner just to serve as a hold for whatever glitters are placing on the surface so afterwards I'll be going into the liner and I'm using a liquid eyeliner from Marbrook So I'm using a uh, mascara from, this mascara is from Zara Cosmetics. Zara Cosmetics is also a Nigerian brand. This mascara is really nice. It has some fibers in it that it helps you to bring out your natural lashes. So afterwards, I'm going to be fixing the lashes on her. <laughs> and obviously, this lashes is very, very long. I like, I like the fact that it's dramatic. So I'm just going to be going with a real technique brush to techniques brush to blend out the powders that I dusted on her eyes just to catch the fallout. Then afterwards, I'm going to be misting her face. Then after that, then I'll continue with the rest. So guys, please keep on watching. I used um, a white pencil just to open up her eyes because of the lashes. I don't want it to make her eyes look too close together. So I'm just going to be using a white pencil. Then afterwards, I'll be using the same mascara to bring out her lower lashes. Then after that, I'll be going into a loose bronzer just to open up the inner corners of her eyes. I want the reverse wing, inner wing liner that I'll be doing. I want it to pop, so I'm going to be applying that bronzer there then i'll go ahead and do the inner wing liner so i'm going to be setting my face with a mineralized powder with um number seven powder brush then i'll go over to our lips so thank you so much guys if you really enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for staying to this extent and i'm so sorry for the fact that i've been mia for some times now like i said in my past video guys i'm going to still come up with a video to explain to you guys why i've been mia you guys are going to be very very excited about it i'm i'm very very sure of that so thank you so much guys and um, please don't forget to subscribe if please don't forget to leave me a comment please don't forget to share this video and god bless you guys and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye